Franz go down on one of the first plays of the game. You know, how, how's he doing? And, and, and any update on him? Uh, no update. We're just going to see how he pulls up tomorrow. So he just went down with the ankle. Uh, you know, Coach, as you look at it, what, what were they able to do to, to kind of pull away there and, and get some separation? You know, we talk about their ability to, to capitalize on mistakes. And that was it. You know, our ability to take care of the basketball, you know, 21 uh, turnovers for 32 points. Uh, we have to be, we talked about ball security before the game, talked about it and how they reach and they grab and they're physical. We knew it was going to be a physical game, but our understanding of how we got to take care of the basketball and move it quicker uh, versus getting down in the gaps, knowing they're going to be reaching and grabbing. Coach Chris Cuff, 24 Flicks. Uh, a bright spot tonight was uh, Davin Ken Kennedy. Coming back on the court, scoring nine points. Can you talk about Davin a little bit? Uh, you know, I'm just so happy for him and his journey and his story and what he's been through and his ability to get back out there and, and play fearlessly. Uh, jumped right in. You know, we talk about the connection that we have with the Lakeland Magic and how Coach Joe does a phenomenal job down there with those guys and keeping them up, keeping them ready to go. And so he just stepped right in and was and ready. But again, it's so happy for him and his story and what he's been through and fighting through the adversity and getting back on the court. Coach Mosley, go ahead. You started uh, him in Cole's place in the second half. I guess what was the reasoning behind that? Uh, Cole was in the back getting his uh, toe retaped. And then uh, with Toronto, you know, we talked about them, their ability to force mistakes. You know, what specifically do they do, scheme wise, player wise, to you know? Force those turnovers. They are. They came into tonight with the best defensive turnover rate in the league. Their ability to, to, to their length is one, uh, but their their ability to be physical in times without fouling, and you know they they hit and they reach, they grab at the ball. They're in po they're, they're they're in pockets right before you get there. And no, no, Coach Nurse does a great job with that group of you know the physicality uh, at you know up the floor, and then when you get down there, they send a crowd right away. So again, it's part of what we have to do and, and learn about getting off the ball quicker, uh, not trying to get in those guys but you know credit to them they did a great job physically uh on on us uh coach mosley Gina racino linda magic daily um how important was Fultz tonight and how did he help you guys get back into the game in the fourth quarter uh markel was was great I, I really like his energy what he provided you know he got us he got us going there was a pace to the game a speed to the game in which he played with the billy with the throw aheads getting down in the lane and finding the spray outs early uh but again it, it, his ability to be physical down there and you know take care of it and then move it off move off of it what did you see from defensively tonight Defensively is good. We went to our switching game, and he was able to, you know, sit down, keep guys in front, ball pressure, ball pressure, uh, disruptions. Again, a lot of those defensive stops, there was a stretch there. I think we got three or four stops in a row, which allowed for us to get out on the break. Given what we were talking this morning about with Franz, just, you know, how disappointing will that be for him if, if he does miss time or just even the fact that he had to, you know, he played 20 seconds tonight. Yeah, you know, I, you know, just we're going to have to see how he pulls up tomorrow and you just, you know, you pray that it's not, you know, not serious. Coach, uh, we, we saw you in the, saw you throughout the game still kind of pumping your fists and, and, and keeping the guys engaged. You know, you, you guys have dealt with injuries throughout the course course of the season, but how important is it to kind of maintain that standard even with some of these guys who are getting their first opportunities and playing in, in different different lineups from patients? How important is it to kind of maintain the standard that you guys have set all year? No, you've, you, we've said it from the beginning of the year. You know, we talk about our guys' spirit, our guys' energy, and that's the same for our coaching staff and, and the fans. You know, we, we stay involved with these guys. We keep encouraging them, keep them lifted up, understanding that they're going to continue to compete for one another no matter what is going on until you know, that final horn goes off. And that's what we continue to ask for these guys. And it's partly, you know, my job to, to keep them encouraged uh, as we go through all of this.